How reliable are Gorilla Tag skills? Well, I will be calculating this by showing three popular abilities, followed by three popular skills. Abilities will be calculated by a timer and the difficulty, and for the skills, I will show you how to perform it and then give it a rating. Remember, just like the last tier list, this is a skill-based list, meaning for everybody it will be different, but it will give the general idea. Starting off with wall running. Arguably nowadays, the most popular ability which is performed by pushing down and into a wall going forward. Wall running is extremely hard to chase people on, and it is one of the most popular abilities today, giving wall running an easy and the first S. Second on the list, we got branching. It is performed by just simple freestyling going from branch to branch. Now branching is extremely useful and really good, but it is the hardest to do and it is very hard to outchase people, so this will be getting an A rank. And the final ability we have on the list is crab walking. And the way to do this is performed well, I, I think it's fairly self-explanatory.
so crab walking is fun to do, but in terms of reliability and efficiency, it isn't really the optimal playstyle on today's standards, so for that, it will get C rank. Pushing past abilities, now moving on to skills. Starting off with tree scaling. One of the hardest possible skills to learn in the game, but if you learn it, then you can severely outplay people. This is executed by doing what we call bear climbing, which is forward vertical wall running, then use the branches around you to elevate you up. This is definitely a must-have for the effectiveness, so we will be giving this a solid S rank. Next up on the skills list, we got elevator climbing. Climbing. This is performed by sticking your hand through a vertical wall and with one hand do a semicircle hug climb up the wall. Back then, this would have been an easy A, but in today's standards, I'm going to be putting this at B only because of how well known it is. So, finally, the final skill that we have is hug climbing. This is, well, also pretty self explanatory. You hug a wall, push down to go up, and then grab again and then repeat. This back then was the hardest skill to learn, but because of how easily catchable you are doing it now, I'm going to be giving this an unfortunate first D rank. And that's really all. Hope that you guys enjoyed, and let me know if you guys want to see any more tier lists.